this is a very powerful tool to help humans to do things and see things in a new way. I think this word creativity is actually a really hard one to define, um, but I think I quite like a definition that uh, cognitive scientist Margaret Bowden came up with. Uh, she said you should regard something as creative um, if it passes three tests. It should be new, surprising, and have value. That's quite interesting with the challenge of whether artificial intelligence can be creative. It's got to kind of pass these three tests, two of them which are about our emotions and very subjective. Most people think that artificial intelligence, creativity is the one thing that it would be impossible um, to do in a piece of code. Um, and I think in the past that was probably true because code was written in a very top-down manner. Humans told a machine what to do at speed and at depth, but anything that came out the other side was still originated in the human who wrote the first code. But I think that's really changed, and I think there's been a phase change. And this is because code is being written in a very a bottom-up manner, something called machine learning, deep learning, where code can change and mutate and become something different because of its interaction with data. And that gives the possibility, I think, of something really new and surprising and potentially valuable to emerge out of this learning process that we might call AI creativity. One of the really interesting applications of AI creativity will not be so much to create new interesting works of art or music, but actually as a tool to understand how the AI is thinking itself. And what I've seen is very exciting, is that AI can take data that humans have created and show them new things that they could do with that old data. This is a very powerful tool to help humans to do things and see things in a new way. One of the limitations I think that AI has is its lack of embodiment. A lot of the art that we appreciate is because of its connection to our ears, to our eyes, um, to taste, to touch. Um, so what I'm beginning to see is actually kind of creativity from the machine emerging which we're finding it quite difficult to engage with. So maybe that's an interesting limitation for AI, the fact that at the moment it's still in a black box and, and not embodied. But that could be overcome perhaps by putting the AI in a robotic form and giving it some sort of embodiment. So um, I think it's an interesting challenge, that mix of uh, human embodiment and uh, the abstract of AI.